Hey guys, we've just finished off another awesome Land Cruiser build. This one's for Jerome from South Australia, who's a good repeat customer of ours. We helped him fit out his last Land Cruiser and he's just returned for a full build on his new one. This one, we started with the Sandy Torp Dual Cab 79. We've done a Norwood on the back. We've done a J-Max Super Chassis package. We've done the ATD bar work, a full interior fit out and much more. I've got my notes so I don't forget anything. I'll take you through this build and show you what we've done. We'll start up the back with the J-Max 4495 Super Chassis because this is our starting platform for the build. So for this, we cut off the factory chassis just behind the cab, remove that, and we weld in the J-Max Super Chassis into place. This gives us a 300 mm chassis extension. It's much bigger and stronger to handle the extra weight. And it also has a coil conversion built in as well. The coil conversion is similar to the bolt-in kit, except for we don't need that cradle to bolt it in. You get the diff housing, which is widened. You get the coil springs in the back with your sway bar, airbags, rear springs, shocks, that sort of thing. And it also has an inbuilt tow bar into the super chassis, as well as a long range tank and a rear winch cradle. On this one, Jerome has fitted a rear winch into the cradle. We've gone with the carbon 12,000 pound and a factor 55 ultra hook as well, which is a really neat finishing touch. And then we've wired up a genuine tow bar wiring loom for the um, tow bar. Included in that kit is the torque at three and a half inch exhaust. The coils change the geometry in the rear, so we do need to change the path of the exhaust, and it's a good opportunity to upgrade at the same time. Now this one's got a three inch lift, which is completely legal and federally approved. That also allows us to run the big 35 inch tires without any legal issues. This one's got the Mickey Thompson Baja Boss 80s, and we've fitted up the Method 312 HD wheels which are in the black finish, and Jerome's also added the black lip bolts, which is a really neat finishing touch. It looks really nice. Something a bit different to the silver beadlock bolts you normally see. Moving on to the side rails and steps with the bar. This is all from ATD Customs. We've got the twin side rails and heavy duty side steps with the custom tread plates. Um, Jerome's chosen to put Land Cruiser on there, which is a neat finishing touch. We've got our signal lights in the side rails here. And then the bar is the two post ATD bar, which is a nice, strong, heavy duty bar. A lot of um, finer details, which are really nice. We've got the steady inbuilt lights. We've got the indicators. We've got the flared little extensions on the bar, which look neat as well. Aerial tabs on both sides, aluminum billet block for our number plate. It's a really neat bar. And we get these powder coated locally. This is called a Gurkha strike sand, which is a really neat color. It's a black and it's got a bit of a textured finish. It's very robust. Fitted up a pair of the steady spotlights on the front, which Jerome's had before, he likes those. And we've got a 12,000 pound carbon winch on the front, which is exactly the same as the rear. Synthetic rope and the Factor 55 Ultra Hook. That's about all for our bar work. Um, so moving on to some of the other exterior accessories. We've got the Safari Armax Snorkel. That's pretty much a standard feature on most of our builds. We like to offer lots of options with bar work, wheels, suspension, but we really find they are the best snorkel on the market. They fit up really nice. They, they no, make no real issues or, or anything like that. And you've got your full four inch intake to the airbox, which is a good option. Rhino roof rack up on the roof. We opt for them with either the 110 mil legs or the 150. There are pros and cons to both. Um, we normally go the 150 if we're using a Norweld because the top of the rack lines up nicely with the height of the headboard on the tray. Jerome's got the standard Toyota um, weather deflector thing on the window, which has been color coded Sandy Torp. Love it or hate it, some people like it, some people don't. Jerome likes it, he's a truck driver, suits him well. We've got the clear view next gen mirrors. They're becoming really popular. The original ones are good, but we're starting to see more and more people go for the, the next gen. I guess just a little bit more of a modern design. Sit in a little bit closer when they're packed up, but then it can come out a bit further as well. So definitely a good option. Um, on the back, we've got the Norweld. This one is the Great Northern Edition. They're doing a few of these. This is actually build number one. So Jerome is Build number one of the Norwell Great, Great Northern packages. Uh, they look really good, color coded in Sandy Torp to match the car. We've got the standard deluxe tray. We've got the flared mud guards to suit the J-Max widened track. Front and rear toolbox. 
You do get the front toolboxes when you've got a 300 mil chassis extension because you get that little bit of extra length. We've got the under tray water tank, which gives us um, some water storage for drinking or washing or whatever you want to do with it. And we've got our 1200 mil drawer around the back as well. In this side, we've got some bulk storage. Got the main drawer down the bottom, which is a full length drawer, nice and deep, heaps of storage. It's um, where we put most of the bigger bulky stuff. And then we've got some open storage up on the top here, rubber mat and a nice little lip, little lip with some tie down points so we can keep stuff secured and a shelf up the top. So most of our bigger stuff's gonna go in that side. We've got lighting in the door and we've got some of our electronics up the front to um, handle our 240 volt needs with the 2000 watt inverter. We'll pop around the other side. We've got the LED tail lights from Norworld. We've got the pull out rear drawer. Good for a bit of storage. Obviously lockable, um, completely sealed from dust and water. On the back, twin spares. And then we've got our ladder as well to get up onto the roof. The roof rack comes standard with the Norworld packages. On the passenger side here, sort of got a bit more of a kitchen setup. So the Great Northern Edition comes with the Great Northern stickers on your small drawer and your fridge. So we've got the pull-out table, got the small drawer, a little bit more storage and another shelf up the top. All of these storage sections have your tie-down points so you can secure your stuff, stops it from bouncing around. And then we've got the Bushman fridge in there as well, which the uprights are becoming really popular. The chest fridge, you sort of got to get in top and dig your way through. You've also got to deal with a heavy slide, whereas these are a bit more like living at home. So that's a good option. And then up the front, we've got a power system, which has got the red vision display, some power outlets, and a drive charger, and a drive inverter. And then we've got our lighting in the doors as well, um, which is which is good, plenty of light. They do have the option to swap between white and amber and you do have brightness control as well. So you can fine tune that to whatever your application may be. That's most things covered for the Norworld. We have got around the other side in the toolbox, we've got an air system. So I'll show you that. So in here, we've got the twin ARB high output air compressor which is um, our favourite compressor to use. High output, really reliable and serviceable. Parts are available Australia wide. We've got the four litre air tank for a little bit of reserved capacity. Braided airlines to connect everything so it's nice and secure. Heavy duty wiring to power it all up. And then we've got um, the ARB pressure control app as well. So this allows the airbags to be pressure controlled from an app and also allows you to inflate and deflate tires to a set pressure as well. We've got the regulated outlet here. So when you're doing your tires and you want regulated pressure through that one, and this one's an unregulated outlet. So if you just want constant air supply, you can use that one there and it will give you air from the tank. We've got a gauge here, which tells us the pressure. We've got a switch to turn it on and off. And then we've got two paddle switches here to put our airbags up and down. So. That's all mounted up in a neat little panel to make use of the space in the toolbox and gives a, a really nice finished product. We've also got the fuel filler on this side. Norwell tucked them in the back there, nice and neat so that you're not losing any toolbox space or having your filler go through the toolbox or anything like that. One other thing with this one on the suspension uh, Jerome's gone for the J-Max Alpha Shocks, which are an adjustable remote reservoir shock made in-house in Australia by J-Max. Really high quality, fantastic performance, and the best thing is their after-sales support is second to none. We'll pop the engine bay and have a look in there. Under the bonnet in this one, we've got a few bits and pieces. On the driver's side, we've got our custom dual battery system, which is an ARB battery tray. It's a Sentry dual force battery. We've got all of our fuses and power outlets and everything powered off of that battery. 
And then we've got the Red Arc BCDC up the front here, which is a 1225D with a solar input. Everything's um, getting charged nicely. We've got the fuel filter kit, which is a 30 micron pre-filter. And then underneath that, there's a Mark's full drive catch can kit, which uses the Provent 200 on a nice little bracket to mount it out of the way and keeps that hose run as short as we can to the um, breather. Around this side, we've got the ARB driveline breathers. This does the front and rear diff as well as the transmission and transfer case all into the one. We've got the Mark's four wheel drive hydro booster. That's part of the brake upgrade with the J-Max 4495. You get the braided brake lines as well as the hydro booster, which gives you a substantial increase in braking, which is required with that higher GVM, higher towing capacity and the bigger wheels as well. We've also got the grill here. Jerome's gone for the FJ style grill, which is a neat little finishing touch. And then mounted up on the ball bar, we've got a GME fold down bracket with the Beyond Blue antenna as well, going to a good cause supporting Beyond Blue. Moving on to the interior. Uh, in this one, we stripped everything out. Started with our full sound deadening package. Um, we've got the fridge console, which is the Cruiser Consoles product. Gives you the full length storage console with power outlets, cup holders and coin tray as well as the fridge in the center. And then we've got our roof console, which is also a Cruiser Consoles product that got, has your LED touch lights. It's got a GME TX4500 in there as well. And then we've gone for the Alpine setup for the sound system. So I'll pop around the other side and show you that one. We've got the sub and amp behind the seat, which is an Alpine sub with a Phoenix Gold amp. So we've got the Alpine speaker pods, which have a inbuilt speaker. They've got the power outlet, and they also have the puddle lamp down on the ground, which is a neat little finishing touch from Alpine. All of that is hooked up to the nine inch Alpine unit on the dash, which gives us a complete fascia kit to replace the standard one. Gives us a nine inch head unit, which has the reverse camera inbuilt. It's got hammer maps inbuilt. It's got Apple CarPlay. It's a really good system. Alpine's a great company to deal with. Then uh, in the back, we've also got the speaker pods. Same thing as the front, really neat ones from Alpine. It's got a USB outlet. It's got a cup holder and obviously the Alpine speakers inbuilt as well. With the sound system, we find that doing the full sound deadening package really gets the most out of the sound system, but it also gets rid of a lot of road noise and wind noise. So we strip the full interior, lay down a whole layer of Dynamat, and then we do the acoustic foam, then fit everything back in together and get it all rolling again. That's most things covered for this build. We do have the Red Arc Tow Pro inside. We've got the switch panel, if you want to have a look at that. That's um, a neat little product that gives us a few extra switch locations. The 79's only got a few from factory, so it's good to get a few extra switch locations for all the added accessories. Uh, what else did we do? Probably most things covered. Consoles. Oh, we color coded the flares. That is a neat little touch that I love doing on these. Didn't notice it because it's covered by the bar work, but from factory, the flares on these come in the pewter, which is a silvery gray kind of color. Doing them sandy top just makes it blend in nicely with the rest of the car. We pull the flares off, we get them painted locally, professionally, and then we do all put new rubbers and clips in. A lot of people just pull it off and reuse it, but we use brand new genuine rubbers and clips to make sure they're fitted nicely and as secure as the way they you know, were from factory. So that's a nice little touch. Um, I think that's about it. So yeah, nice little package. Jerome's gotten for a lot of the good gear, a lot of our favorite products, the Norweld, um, the ATD bar work, the J-Max super chassis. So hopefully you guys like what you've seen here. It is a really cool build. We hope Jerome's happy. He's come and had a look at the car a few times throughout the build. We've sent him some update photos and it looks like he's pretty keen to get it. So this one will be heading off to the dealer for a pre-delivery clean. Jerome will grab it, do a few Ks, come back in for a check over, and it'll be ready to hit the tracks.
If you like what you've seen, make sure you like our channel and subscribe. That way you can see all of our other videos. And if you're in the market for a build yourself, jump on our website, check out our build packages, have a look at the vehicle gallery of some of the other builds that we've done. And please don't hesitate to contact our sales team and we'll organize a quote and any information you need. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.